Hi, welcome to Eggbusters episode, I don't know, probably like 100 now. So, it has been quite a couple of weeks for me and Eggbusters. We've had, I've had a lot of technical problems, a lot of health-related problems. As a matter of fact, I died, and so now we're doing it, for, we're from the afterlife. I'll show you a picture out there as heaven, I'll show you that later. Uh, but because we're in the afterlife, the copyright rules are all different, and Nintendo doesn't allow you to do first-party games in heaven for, like, for YouTube shows. So, uh, while I start that out, we gotta do a different, a third-party game, and we're going with a great indie title, <coughs> a great indie title called Shovel Knight. Shovel Knight has, uh, not that many glitches, because they constantly patch them and patch them out and whatever, and so it was a little tricky to find some to do, but I ended up locating two. The first glitch that I found for Shovel Knight is looks like it's pretty simple. Shovel Knight has a lot of cheats. You put in a certain cheat and it means that instead of playing as normal size Shovel Knight, he plays really big Shovel Knight. So you take really big Shovel Knight and he can also jump really high in this mode. And you take him to the very first level of the game and there's a certain spot where if you go up against the edge of the screen and jump and then try to move to the left, the game kind of freaks out and it scrolls the wrong way and it goes to a different screen that's further along in the level than it's supposed to be. So the video I found where you can do this is on the 3DS version. We're playing the Wii U version and the screen where you jump from looks like this and the screen where you end up looks like this. So that's the goal is to jump and scroll the screens all weird and end up in a place further along in the level. Let's check it out. It's Shovel Knight. Yacht Club Games. You guys are on my shit list now. I wanted to do a different glitch, but then when I took a quick break to go eat, I came back, my game had automatically updated and patched out that glitch. Quit patching out these glitches. So instead we're doing this piece of crap. Gotta make a new one, put in a cheat, so that's what I'm gonna do. So this is the cheat code, and I don't know what honestly happens in it. My name is Abmu, and we're gonna see what- oh, I have everything unlocked. I think it also makes me giant, which is what it looks like I need to do for this glitch. So, this glitch takes place in the first level, Planes of, of Death, and every time I jump, I change colors. I don't like that. So I gotta get to the place where the glitch happens, and that should be pretty soon. I think I'm invincible also. Oh well. Can't do what you wanna do. That's what James Cameron says. But James Cameron can do whatever he wants to do. Oh hey, here it is. This is where you do the glitch. It should be pretty easy. Now all we gotta do is cross over this... What, what color am I? I know those colors. I look like old 80s colors of some character, like Iron Man in the 80s. Put up a picture of Iron Man in the 80s. I think they look the same. Alright, we gotta cross over the boundary here. Boom, and then we gotta get close to the edge and then start bouncing. Bounce, and then when we do this, then we gotta move to the left when we're up high, right? Up to the left, and then we do that, and then we gotta move to the right, and then something happens. No, this isn't right. Obviously a glitch happened, but that's not what I wanted to happen. We're gonna try it again and see if we can... See if we can get all the way up. So we go bounce, then to the left, and then to the right, and then to the left, and then to the right, and then to the... What's going on? Alright, we're back. Didn't work. What if we just jump? Like that. Yeah, and then we go the- No! So, bounce and you go up to the left, and then to the right, and then to the left, and then to the right? No. Go up, to the left, and then to the right. No. I think you can do it just by jumping. You don't have to bounce on your pogo thing. Jump to the left, yeah, and then to the right. Okay, that doesn't work. I can't get all the way to where it was supposed to go. Can I do it from this side? Like, what if I jump and then go to the left? Yeah, look at that, and then go to the right. Huh. That's a little weird. That's just weirdly easy to do, just jump and go to the left. Now where the F am I? Let's go to the left. Oh, hey, we're back to the left. Wait. Alright. We've now entered a loop. Oh, you can see where we are, though. Look at that. Okay, check this out. Jump! Jump! I'm gonna try to jump! Would you quit that? Okay, I think I've gotten myself stuck. No, okay, I'm back. I get closer. 
He looks like a Mangalorian from Star Wars. Jump up to the left, up to the right, up to the left, and up to the right, and it didn't work. All right, now we're going to ha what? Oh, the cookies are done. All right, I'll be back. I gotta go get my cookies, and then we can keep going. I know we're having fun. It's just you know we have things to do. All right, I took care of my cookies. Back to the jump to the left, to the left again. Now, now we're doing this again. Huh? Can I jump? Oh, I jumped. Okay, now look. Where are we at? Now we're back. We're going up. Jump around. I don't know what's happening. Jump. And then let's go to the left. Check it out. I made it in here. I think that's where we were supposed to get. Cause now, actually, I think we could get a little farther, but I don't care. Close enough. Now we're at the end of the level, which is fun. So now the question is... So the trick, let me show you the trick here. It's easy. Once you jump up, if you stop moving entirely, you'll get caught in like this area. Okay, stop moving, Shovel Knight. Okay, now you're caught here. We're over there. Put an arrow. If you jump, then you end up up here and it keeps doing this. Then what you want to do, oh, uh-oh. Once you're stuck here, you jump and you push to the left. Keep holding to the left. And then bam, you're up in here. That's the end. We found the end together. And this is the battle with the Black Knight. I don't care, Black Knight, get the hell out. Play the jingle. turn these lights off oh these lights gotta go off oh I gotta turn these lights off oh second glitch for Shovel Knight I'm very excited about this one because it looks like kind of interesting and slightly complicated and it's only in one YouTube video that I found so here's how it works go to the first Knight King his name is King Knight he's not a is not a Knight King he's a King Knight what you have to do is you take this fishing rod item oh boy you take this fishing rod item and you slowly eke towards the entrance to King Knight's chamber. And when the screen scrolls, if you time it just right, when Shovel Knight uh, scrolls over into King Knight's chamber, he'll use the fishing rod, which will prevent him from actually falling down into the boss battle arena. And instead, he'll sort of be partially stuck in the wall, which will then close on him. Because he never actually went to the arena, he can actually just walk back out through the wall into the area that he was before. And King Knight, hopefully, will actually follow him into the parts of the level that are not the boss arena. All this means in terms of the glitches that you get to see a bunch of stuff you're not supposed to see and hear music in the places you're not supposed to hear the music as far as we know so let's see if we can figure this one out check it out shovel knight king knight glitch okay this is shovel knight <coughs> hmm yes shovel knight uh pride more keep is where we gotta go you gotta make sure you have a fishing rod because nobody likes fishing more than Rod. We gotta make it all the way to the end, so we're just gonna do a let's play. Actually, why don't you guys watch the let's play I made while trying to film the first Shovel Knight glitch I attempted before Yacht Club Games decided to patch the damn game when I restarted my Wii U and saw the glitch didn't work anymore, so whatever. I really like Metroid Prime. Metroid Prime is nice. Makes you feel good about yourself. It actually doesn't, it just it actually kinda makes you feel bad about yourself. Kind of that Monster Hunter effect where you're like, oh, I'm killing a lot of unprovoked creatures or whatever. I'm killing a lot of creatures unprovoked. And you're kind of like, oh. It's kind of like when you play GTA and then you kind of have that moment where you're like, wait. I'm killing a lot of people. A lot of things that look like people. And then you kind of feel bad, but then you're like, eh, eh. And that's what happens. That's called cognitive decadence. Rats with helicopter rats. Copter rats. Mouse helimousers. Mousecopters. Rat copters. Poop machines. Shout out to my buddy Critical. He needs the views. Don't be a gamer, honestly. Don't don't put yourself in a box like that. Just 
When people say, oh, is this, oh, I'm a gamer, don't say you're a gamer. Say I'm a human being. That's what you should say. You know where we learned that lesson? Treat yourself like a human. You know where we learned that lesson? You're a slave? I'm a person, and my name is Anakin. Well, good for him. Don't identify yourself as like a small thing that is a mere tiny portion of who you are. Say, oh, you gotta say your, go to your Twitter bio. Tell everyone you're a YouTuber. I'm a YouTuber who believes in fairness for gays. What did I, why did I say that? Alright, we've made it. Fishing rod item goes like this. Like that, right? It uses five nuggets every time I try to use it. So I gotta inch towards the edge while using it. Which I guess means like go to the left and then quickly use it. And we're just gonna kinda do that. Go to the left and use it. Go to the left and use it. Keep using it. Keep using it. I'm gonna run out! Use it! Ah, oh, damn it, damn it, fuck. Maybe I just gotta use it once I'm already in there. Like, alright, check this out. Maybe the goal is like this. You go in... And then you use it, use it, use it, use it! No. Okay, 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 let's get serious now, come on. Like, let's get nice and close. And then we'll use it. And then just keep using it like this. Watch, nudge, nudge, nudge. A Little bit at a time, buddy. A little bit at a time, little- I'm gonna run out of juice. I ran out of juice. Oh, it worked! Oh, it worked! And we got- <laughs> we got our treasure chest back. Yeah, 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 check it out! Now he's gonna follow us out. Well, that was very, very easy. Okay, he's the guy- come on, we gotta get further away from this clown. Also, we gotta find a way to take care of this buddy. This is bad. Go, go, go! Yeah, here we go. Where is our buddy King Knight? King! King! King Knight! Where'd you go, my friend? Oh, wait. That was a bad idea, wasn't it? I just did it on a whim. Oh well. So... Alright, I have a feeling we're gonna have to do the exact same thing again. Only this time, like... Oh, wait. Ah, oh, douche. That was a weird thing to say. We made it back. It, thing's still broken though, but whatever. And just go like that. And then eventually, bada bang. Easy peasy. Now we gotta make sure we take good care of him, because I think he gets upset. Like, if we do this, then we gotta wait for him. I still hear him. There he is. Come on, buddy boy. Still alive down there? I think he died. Maybe we just gotta wait here a while. And I really mean right. There we are. King Knight. And we just gotta go like this, and then we gotta go far this way. And then he'll shoomp up to us. There he goes, he shoomped up to us. This is exactly what happened in the video, and the guy went in here, and King and I followed him. I'm not seeing any shoomping. Wait! I know how to do it. I know how to do it, you guys, I figured it out. Who gives a rat's ass? My cat looks like a rat. The bam, easy. And King Knight says, "Oh, okay. It looks like you're gonna. We're gonna have to do it after we die once already, so he doesn't go on his friggin' speechy speech spree. Boom, boom. There we go. And you immediately want to leave. See you later, punko. Now run, run, run all the way over. You want to get all the way out there. Ready? And he's gonna do his attack. See? He's here. He is here." Or at least I thought he was here. Yeah, I hear him. There he is. Come over here. Ah, okay, he's here. Ah, ah, trumpets. He's just attacking. All he's attacking is his trumpets now. Ah, and we did. Well, great. What else do we really need, anyway? If you do it right, you can get killed by trumpets. Which is what we've all wanted. Play the jingle.
Thank you for watching this episode of Eggbusters so very much. I appreciate it greatly. And as a matter of fact, if you're watching this on the day it's uploaded, around the time it's uploaded, very soon it's going to be a Patreon game day where people on Patreon, all, we all get together on Skype, well, not on Skype anymore, on Discord, and I play games. I think we're going to play Splatoon today. So if you want to donate on Patreon and participate in a game day like that, they happen every few weeks, you can do that. Aside from that, I want you to check out this video series called My Parents Play on GoNintendo.com. GoNintendo also has a podcast that's great and generally speaking just a website that's great so check them out because they're fun and I'm not just saying that because I like them I'm saying it because they're paying me they're not actually paying me that was a joke you guys need to be able to take a joke you hear that that's the sound of an airplane also you can follow me on Twitter and my Twitter handle is um how many more things do I got to up for this that's pretty much it I'm sure there's other stuff you can read in the description if you want thank you very much for everything you do for me Hopefully you feel happy in life. Be nice to each other in life and in the comments because everybody's a person and you got to remember that I'm a person and I'm a person who doesn't even know um, anything about how my body works, how my own body works. So, all right, it's getting kind of hot. I'm going a little bit nuts. So I got to escape here before I go too nuts.